Welcome to Inspiration 365 channel for education. If you have not subscribed, you may consider doing so that you will not miss any coming videos. Oppositional Defiant Disorder aka ODD is one of the most common mental disorders among children and adolescents. The symptoms are categorized as anger, hostility, vindictiveness, fighting and bullying, along with this, irritability and temper tantrums. Identified early on in a child's life through tiredness or lack of motivation, they could lead to school failure. Treatment will be necessary to find an individualized path that is best suited for the concerned person which can lead to better compliance rates. Opposition Defiant Disorder is identified by the following four types of behavior. 1. Recurrent temper tantrums directed towards someone other than the self. You're not the only one. Temper tantrums are known as episodes of emotional outbursts that are directed towards someone other than the self. One person might throw a tantrum while they're waiting in line to order at a restaurant, while another might yell at their partner during an argument. 2. Persistent yelling or screaming that causes serious difficulties in personal relationships. I will never forget the time my sister and I got in a fight over a toy and she was yelling so loud that our mom came running into the room. It wasn't until she came in that we realized how badly we were both hurting. 3. Deliberate and unprovoked annoying behavior usually meant to irritate, upset, or offend people for a long period of time. Although a majority of people enjoy having their day ruined, it is not okay to go around and intentionally piss people off. This type of behavior is called harassment and it can come in many forms such as catcalling, cyberbullying, stalking, or aggressive driving. If you notice that someone is doing something that bothers you and they are aware of your presence, the best thing to do would be to let. 4. Anger and rage attacks lasting a long time, explosive anger. Children that are diagnosed with oppositional defiant disorder have had a consistent pattern of difficult behaviors since at least age 12. And the first three types of oppositional behaviors will be present more than not. These children have an inability to work through problems on their own without getting mad and throwing tantrums. They will do things such as guilt-tripping parents into. This condition is a mental health disorder in kids that consists of a pattern of behaviors such as arguing with adults, actively defying rules and disliking people in authority. Oppositional defiant disorder cannot be predicted by the child's behavior but can also be learned from dysfunctional family environments. There are many treatment options, but these treatments should also focus on the reasons why this disorder happens and need to address at-risk family issues like unsafe intimate person or substances use and other factors. People with borderline personality disorder may be treated with medication, psychotherapy, or a combination of the two. Medications may include antidepressants, mood stabilizers, and antipsychotics as well as medications that treat anxiety like benzodiazepines. Psychotherapy can be helpful in treatment but it is not always necessary to treat BPD. If you come to this far, I greatly appreciate it. I hope to build great a community to help learning, inspiring and motivating, so keep improving to make a better world for generation to come. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share thanks.